Welcome to today's webinar designed to provide tips on how you can use professional division members to help your chapter excel. I am FBLA PBL Membership Director Lisa Smothers and I will be introducing today's speakers. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will go over questions at the end of this presentation. Communications Manager Laura Morgan will serve as moderator when we get to the question and answer session. We are delighted to welcome two professional division national officers to this afternoon's presentation. Blake Reynolds, your professional division national president, has a rich FBLA PBL history. He was a former Maine FBLA state officer, has been a professional division member since 2009, where he has also served two terms as the national vice president, and he is the state chair of Massachusetts FBLA PBL. Buddy Alberson, your professional division national vice president, has been with the organization since he was a member of FBLA back in 1992. He was a former Missouri PBL state officer, PBL national officer, and has been a member of the professional division since 2013. Now I'll turn it over to Blake. Blake? Great. Thank you, Lisa. FBLA PBL has four divisions spanning most age groups and enabling members to make FBLA PBL their lifetime association, starting in the middle level, then going on to FBLA, PBL, and finally the professional division. There are opportunities to get involved at all levels of FBLA PBL. Your FBLA PBL or PBL chapter is one of many activities sponsored by your school. You can keep your school's officials and administrators involved in and supportive of your activities by asking them to become members of the professional division. This will help your chapter maintain great visibility and allows these folks to have a direct impact on your chapter. So who can join the professional division? Well, anybody, really. Anybody who has an interest in FBLA PBL, which can include former members, employers, educators, your parents, business people, community supporters, really anyone that is outside of FBLA and PBL. Dues for a one-year membership are $25 with the exception of California where it's 30. A portion of these dues goes back to the state the member is affiliated with, so membership is supporting the organization on both the state and national levels. When a chapter and state recruits many professional division members, they have an opportunity to win recognition on the state and national levels. So just like the other divisions, the professional division, mem uh, professional division members also plan their activities around the three wards on our crest, service, education, and progress. The professional division members are eager to serve your chapter by being members of an advisory council where they meet with your advisor and officers and offer advice for competitions and activities. They can offer educational opportunities by having resume critique sessions, offer your chapter members tours of their businesses, or even help by providing job shadowing experiences. Most importantly, they can help advisors and members stay up to date on the most current business trends. Our members can offer your chapter so many things that will enhance a member's experience, whether it be through mentoring students for a competitive event such as business plan, creating networking opportunities between students and business leaders, offering career advice, providing internship or job opportunities, or even scholarships and financial support for students to attend state and national conferences. So how do you start? Your chapter can offer professional membership to area business leaders, chapter boosters, parents, teachers, and alumni. So here are four tips to get your local chapter started. First is to form a professional division membership recruitment committee. Next, set realistic goals for your professional membership, such as how many members do you want, and what would you like them to contribute to your chapter? Next, discuss and develop a recruitment strategy. And then finally, have a committee of members set up appointments with and make presentations to the individuals and business groups on your list. Materials on how to form a professional division in your state, recruit members, and more can be found on the professional division page on the FBLA PBL national website. Now over to Buddy. Thank you, Blake. During FBLA PBL week, which is February 5th through 11th, 2017, that Thursday, February 9th, is Career Awareness Day. 
This is a day designed to encourage chapter members and advisors to connect with professional members and business leaders. This is a good opportunity to connect with those business leaders and faculty that your chapter has already recruited into the professional division. It also offers chapters additional ways to recruit new members from the community who, have, who can help your chapter with it being by speaking at chapter meetings or by helping students prepare for state and national competitions. It is also a great way to satisfy the professional division recruitment requirements of the Business Achievement Awards. Many chapters offer business leaders who speak at chapter meetings or assist at state or regional conferences a gift membership in the professional division. Some chapters sponsor a networking lunch with business professionals or an after-school session with local community leaders. A great chapter event would be to tour the local business of one of your professional division or alumni member or have a chapter officer meeting with community officials or state legislators. You can prepare for competitions by having professional members conduct mock job interview sessions with your chapter's competitors for state competitions and job interview or future business executive. Other ideals for chapter projects during this day would be to contact your professional members or business leaders to arrange job shadowing opportunities for your members, host a career day, or create a business advisory council for your chapter. Career Awareness Day is a perfect time to sponsor a community service project and get professional members to help. Perhaps you can help a professional member, professional member with a business project. Many chapters sponsor workshops and have professional division members actually review student resumes and give constructive critiques. Why not use those professionals who are actually in business and know what employers are looking for in a candidate? Finally, this is a great time to also get your members, professional members, and alumni involved in the community by taking part of the benefits of FBLA PBL and the chapter successes at a local city council or school board meeting. The more you get the word out, the more support your chapter will gain when they're looking for help with funding. Now back to you, Blake. Thank you, buddy. So please don't hesitate to contact any of your professional division national officer team for advice on how to either connect with or utilize professional division members. We are here to help. Okay, well it looks like we had a few questions submitting during the presentation, so we'll start getting to those now. If we run out of time, we'll email you individually to answer any questions we're not able to get to. So our first question is, if I recruit PV members, does it count toward any national awards besides the largest membership ones? If so, which ones? Blake, why don't you take this one? Um, so as I was mentioning, and we kind of touched on in the uh, previous slides. So the BAAs now have a requirement, so Business Achievement Awards now have a requirement uh, to recruit a certain number of professional division members as part of the different levels. So that is certainly uh, part of the recognition process uh, among the BAAs. In addition to the BAAs, the CMAP, which is the college counterpart, also offers the same thing. And it's a great way to kind of see how all of the divisions connect for that lifelong association that we like to promote. And also our new Diamond Chapter, which is um, a one-time award that celebrates our 75 years, does have a, a section where you can recruit, pre um, I'm sorry, professional members that help you get credit for that. So those are just some of the things that we do offer. Great. Okay, our next question says, what should I say to potential PV members about the benefits to them for joining? Buddy, why don't you take this one? What we, I would suggest would be to help encourage uh, members, FBLA members, to become the best they can be. These new, the professional division members are always there to help and guide these FBLA members and PBL members to be, you know, for their competitions and for just you know, jobs in general. And so if you explain it in a situation where, you know, this is a benefit for us and a benefit for you as well, it's usually what I usually, how I explain it to the, when we looking for professional division members here in Missouri. Okay, thank you for sharing that. Okay, um, it looks like we have one more question right now. Um, and it says, why should my chapter care if we have PD members as long as people are volunteering to help our chapter? Blake, why don't you field this one? 
Um, so I think it's it's more than just having people help your chapter. I think the professional division um, brings a whole other element to a chapter. I think it really offers that professional level of uh, someone who has been in business, has been in their career for an established amount of time. They bring a certain amount of expertise and advice uh, and insights on various levels uh, of industry. And certainly, uh, these folks can be tapped into for guest speakers at your chapter, in your state and regional conferences. And they can serve as uh, workshop presenters, judges for competitive events. Uh, there really is a multitude of ways uh, that professional divisions, can, that division members can be used in a chapter and on the state level, other than them just helping out in various ways. I think they offer um, a broad uh, range of expertise that is very valuable to both FBLA and PBL chapters. I think Blake is exactly right. I mean, there's so much that can be benefited from both sides. The professional members, a lot of them are parents or they're alumni, former officers, um, and they really want to kind of share the experience and give back, so to say, because they got so much or gained so much from the organization. Um, I used to be a teacher, so I can really tell you that I always appreciated using the professional members. We actually had an um, both Blake and Buddy touched on this in advisory council where they would meet with our officers once a month. And it really helps um, you kind of gain the business aspect. And really those are your connections for those business tours. And it really helps when they can kind of give suggestions. Okay, are you doing, are you helping them kind of network and are you doing the right thing? So it also helps the teacher as well as the students. It's just a, a great organization and a, just a great connection. It's, it's a whole other way that you can get involved in FBLA PBL. Yeah, another example of that is um, in Massachusetts here, we had someone reach out to us from a business that was looking to expand their marketing plan, and we found it to be a terrific opportunity to involve our members to come up with that plan, to follow these guidelines, to create this, um, this new marketing plan for a business, and it's through the professional division that we are able to make those connections and bring um, that value to members. So um, as Ms. Mothers was mentioning, there are a, a whole different array of um, virtues and values that can be brought by professional division members and their connections. Great, thank you. Okay, looks like we had one more question come in. It says, um, can you provide more information on the criteria for being a professional division national officer. Is it like running for FBLA or PBL national office? Blake, why don't you take this one too? <laughs> um, so yes, there are requirements to be a professional division national officer. Um, and Ms. Smothers, you might correct me on this. Uh, I think you have to be a professional division member. Is it two or three years? It's actually two years, so um, okay. two full yeah, years. The, a professional division member for two years uh, and we have our application process uh, that's currently going on right now for all three uh, offices president VP and secretary treasurer and so um, based on your uh, two-year minimum membership in the professional division and your qualifications uh, as a business professional um, those are some of the things that we look for um, when searching out for a professional division national officer. And it, we're held to the same standards that FBLA and PBL national officers are. Uh, we attend the NFLC and NF, uh, NLCs. We host workshops. We have a booth at both conferences. And so we're still very much involved and uh, have the same uh, workload and expectations that uh, the other divisions do. And the thing that's really cool about it, as I might add, is that the other officers really look up for the professional officers as well. So um, I know at the NFLCs, professional officers played a big role in kind of guiding those other officers along and helping them with, with some of the logistics of some things. 
Great, thank you. Well, it looks like that's actually the last question that we had for today. So um, thank you both for your input. And we want to thank everybody for joining us today. And be sure to register now for the National Presidents Forum, which will kick off FBLA PBL week on February 6th. And participating in that will be our FBLA National President, our PBL National President, and our Professional Division National President. So we hope to see you then. And we hope you have a great week.